Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a quick review on my Raspberry Pi camera. Now I've got the infrared version, I don't know how much it costs, I actually got it for Christmas. So here it is, I will just zoom in a bit on, zoom in a bit for you. I'm very sorry you can't see this very clearly, but basically, right, if I move it out, you can see all the, I'll put it there. Wait a second. Okay. You can hear a little bit better. It says like Raspberry Pi on it and it's Well you No wait, you can just about there see I've got a camera on it and I'm using a it's on a Pi Pod. And yeah, as you know I've got the infrared version. On the back, you haven't got much apart from this white thing that goes down to the cable. Now, overall, I do think this is a brilliant camera. So, I think it's a fabulous camera. However, the, the thing I don't like, so it's really easy to use, I've got an infrared version, you don't only have to have your own infrared light. If you have your own infrared light, you can make the infrared part of it work. And... Also, I have I have this is the lead now. This this white lead is not long enough. I and I can only just about catch it to my Raspberry Pi. Now I've oh yes, I only got this for Christmas. And whilst I'm at it, I gee, I, I have got a new new room. So you see that water is only temporary water because my current water has been used to something else. And I'm and I'm getting new furniture. As you can see, I've got like a beige. Coloured uh, broom now. Stuff you see, I've got, and you can see I've got. Oops. Very big double bed. Very hard to see. Right. Okay, yeah, so that, and also this pipe pod's reasonably easy to put together. You know, so I can, if I want to, I can simply. So it's a very sort of quality, isn't very good. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy, my, my Samsung Galaxy Tab, free to film this. Oops, sorry about this. I have to put the camera down. Yeah. There well, you simply, you can simply turn this. Rotate your camera and then tap back again. Going to, I'm really sorry about this. I've just messed up my entire camera. So yes, I mean there is when you ask it, and I have figured out. In a future video, I'm going to be showing you how to remotely control this using some software called Putty. Now all you need to do this is really, really use an internet connection, and if you're using either a Wi-Fi adapter for design for a Raspberry Pi, or you can also do what I did, or or you can use a Wi-Fi, or, or which is just a Wi-Fi adapter for Raspberry Pi, or if you want to, the other option is to use your very own Ethernet cable to plug it into your router. I was going to, I don't even know what I was going to say then. I just made up there. Oh, you see, circuit board in the back is at, is exposed, but it's not provided. There was a back plate, but because, I had diff because I've got the, the red version, it wouldn't put out, go on properly. So I have to try and like, move bits of it. So I could put it on, but then the screws wouldn't fit in, so we just did it like that, and it works with this. It's always good. So yeah, let me just, um, you've got these legs at the bottom, which will simply come out. Yeah, 
so this is the camera. This is the camera again. So now you've got a blue thing and also the other disadvantage is it's very hard to plug in when you've got a case on because I've got a case on and what you have to do you have to lift up this like hook thing you have to open up the socket put it in and then you have to whilst it's in you have to shut it it's quite hard but get my Raspberry Pi in order to show you This is my Raspberry Pi case, and I've got a Wi Pi. And you actually put it, I'm not sure you can tell. There's a yellow thing over this one. I'm very sorry, I can't really zoom in. I can't really zoom in on this camera. You see a bit better, there's a yellow thing on that one. Now, this is not bad because I've had to remove it, and why is this protective cover? What you do is, I can't, I'm afraid I can't really show you that. You lift up this part, you can't really see, and then you have to slip this cable in, and then you have to shut it. Now, this is a new case I've got as well, which is more or less easy to put together, apart from it came in pieces, so you have to assemble it. Minion. So, I have made a time lapse. Which I will probably put on YouTube at some point. I don't exactly know when it will be on YouTube. And it, it's only two seconds long. And I did it. And I took a photo. For every five minutes. For four hours. So we didn't. I probably had, in the end, had about 30 photos. So we went very quickly. Now this soon I'm going to do very similar time lapse. And I'm going to take one photo. I'm going to take a photo every, I'm going to take one, one foot, take a photo, probably every minute or two, um, I don't really know, how often, so, yeah. Okay, okay everyone, I have now.